you have the opportunity to meet everybody at your college and understand your own community and then and then you kind of branch out to 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 all of the other colleges within and the rest of the city and you meet people and on your faculty um, and things like that. Pretty much all the range of interests of extracurricular activities, be that drama, sport, music, will be very richly represented within the walls of a single college. I also think it's quite nice that like uh, the more intimate side of our teaching, which is the tutorial system, is in our college, whilst things like lectures are usually in a faculty building, um, which means you, you do kind of get to know your tutors very well. Um, you get to know your two partners very well. Um, and then when you go for lectures, you have the chance to get a lot of very wide ranging views uh, from people across the colleges. It's that kind of friendly community where you're the whole time that you walk around college, you kind of see people that you know, you're seeing friendly faces and you stop to have a chat in the front quad or in the gardens or wherever you are, um, which is just so nice. Sometimes makes it difficult to get to the library where you're trying to go. In terms of day-to-day -day activities, that ties in with um, going to the JCR and seeing your friends. Um, JCR stands for Junior Common Room, kind of a place where you can go and relax and see your friends, either plan to meet there or turn up there spontaneously and see who's there. As well as there being explicitly social spaces like the JCR and the kitchens um, that there's normally quite a nice vibe when you're working perhaps on your individual um, essay or problem sheet but surrounded by people that you know in the library and you can always go catch their eye and go and get a coffee or something. Lunch every day is a pretty big event um, that's pretty much um, always well attended by people in Wadham and I always I mean it would take 15 minutes to eat my food but I'm always there for a good hour and a half because you just get chatting to someone and you get chatting to another person um, which I think is also just quite indicative of Wadham's um, general friendliness and community. Most students on a day-to-day -day basis if they have dinner in the college tend to have it in, in our refectory so our canteen type space where we have our lunch um, but we can also eat in the hall which is a bit more formal um, but without being um, a really formal atmosphere so there's no dress code people can wear whatever they want which itself is quite a, a, a symbolic fact about about Wadden and, it, and its vibe and its ethos um, and just early on I think I remember for one, whatever reason having a late tutorial ending up in the hall without knowing anybody and actually there were two um, postgraduate students who were sat there uh, who deliberately kind of included me inside chatting to me so there is even um, not just within the undergraduate community, but there's also this friendliness across the college community as a whole. There's an area called Bowra where a lot of freshers get put, which are kind of like these modern little chic high rise, almost apartment style rooms. And it's like a really nice hub there. But even if you're not there, college is really interconnected. We're really lucky at Wadham to have like such a big um, student led events system. So for example, uh, we have life drawing classes at Wadham. Uh, we have a lot of people who make zines, which are like student made magazines. Um, so whilst we have a lot of like the same social life as a lot of Oxford, um, we're very, very lucky to have such a creative body as well, um, who do events for their own work, um, which is quite fun to go to. We also have bops um, once every two weeks. Um, that's a very Oxford word for college parties. Before I came to Oxford, I was really paranoid that I wasn't going to get the normal student experience. I mean, it's obviously um, maybe a bit more of a workload than other unis, but um, at Wadham in particular, the social life is really good. And I actually feel like I've got to know more people than I would have done at another uni because of the intimate nature of being in a college. And I feel like um, I get to experience student nightlife properly and even um, I've had my own disastrous attempts at cooking which I feel is also just part of the student experience so yeah I definitely have no regrets in terms of thinking that I've missed out on that at all. A big thing is Wadham welfare and its efforts in making everyone feel good and pastoral care and like me and Harvey kind of have experienced that directly because we were welfare reps for college in our first year and so we would host things on a weekly basis or you know if not other weekly basis um things like welfare teas 
and welfare branches that are hosted in the JCR. Um, and they're basically efforts to just bring the community together, whether that's on a Sunday morning with some salmon and cream cheese on bagels and just like have a chat with everyone or, you know, a midweek welfare tea in the JCR, bring some brownies along just to, you know, as a pick me up. Um, those happen quite often at Wadham and those are always something to look forward to. Um, I just like to add, because I think it's quite important that most colleges um, have an equivalent to an LGBTQ plus officer, POC officer, class trans women's. Those officers um, hold events kind of like um, Wadham welfare, but and they'll often be similar like welfare teas and stuff. Um, but they can kind of make people feel even more comfortable to talk to people within Wadham who might be going through similar things that they're going through. Wadstock and Queer Fest are like, I think, essential. They're kind of like, for us, um, the two biggest kind of events on the Oxford calendar, and they are for a lot of people. So you have things like Wadstock and Queer Fest, which are these tremendous parties, really. But I think certainly my personal experience is that having been at Wadham, you know, those events are not in a vacuum. And so Queer Fest, for example, is at the end of a whole week of consciousness raising educational events, outside speakers, um, symposia of people in Wadham. Um, and I certainly think that I have been educated to a much greater extent than I would possibly have got anywhere else. Wadham feels like a place for everyone. It kind of is ready to welcome you in and kind of let you thrive in whatever you want to do, no matter your social background or social circumstances. It very much feels like access is at the forefront of its kind of um, concerns and, and it's at Warden's best interest to let people thrive and enjoy the university and kind of like everything it has to offer. Um, I think it can be quite intimidating when you first rock up to Oxford and you kind of feel a bit like you're part of something that's so big and so historical and you don't really know where you fit into it. And I think going to a college like Wadham is such a doorway into that where you are so supported and you have so much welfare and um, financial help that it really does make somewhere as prestigious as Oxford so accessible. Um, it, it doesn't really matter where you come from or who you are you're still going to find your place in Oxford, especially in a college like Wadham.